The Alliance for a Change is defending its participation in this year's budget cuts, saying that the government is not handicapped and that the money passed can ensure that the government continues to meet its daily expenses. The National Assembly on Wednesday night approved the 2013 budget, which was reduced to 177.4 billion Ghana dollars. The party leader, Kemrat Ramjitan, said the combined opposition has been very reasonable with the chops. But there are huge problems with those projects and programs we saw the need to cut. We saw them not answering properly, not rationalizing those estimates, those individual estimates, to the satisfaction of the AFC members, and it also found favor with APNU members, and so the cuts remain. There are some cuts that were deferred because of the fact certain green lights haven't been given or signal, signal posts have not been met, and we had to do what we did, but we made the explanation that if they come with supplementaries afterwards, we are going to make the necessary approvals. The last budget cut occurred on Wednesday night when 19 billion was slashed from the allocation for the low carbon development strategy. The opposition argued that the money has not been approved by the Inter-American Development Bank, but once it is approved, the government can return to the National Assembly and ask for approval. The second largest cut was $5.6 billion under the Ministry of Public Works. However, the party maintains that its actions were justifiable, calling for proper accountability and efficiency in the management of the public's purse. Is that the same fingers that are being pointed at us that we made cuts that will affect jobs, those people who are trying to prosecute a case against us must also be reminded that they were the ones who signed a Marriott contract that had 100% job loss for Guyanese. They are the ones who signed a contract for, the, uh, for a new airport that had as, uh, as um, a condition of the contract 60% job losses for, for Guyanese. So that they have to be able to come forward to the Guyanese people with moral and credible uh, image to say that they really love the Guyanese workers. The opposition had argued that the budget that could have satisfied all could have been presented to the National Assembly if the government was truly committed to consultation. Leroy Adolphus, Capital News.